Hey guys, this is Junior from the Binding Lab, and as you know, I've been struggling with phlegm and cough the whole weekend. It was totally dreadful. So, but anyway, uh, if I cough or if I have to like clear my throat once in a while, pardon me for that. In this video, my my aim is to to show you and to guide you on creating your own trading system. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was talking about, right? Like it's kind of like the few videos ago where I talked about. Uh, I'm going to help you achieve your goal, right? Uh, we have to write things down. Today's exercise is going to be quite the same thing. Uh, you have to do some writing stuff down. You may not necessarily have to do it writing down now and pause the video and do it again, but uh, it's definitely something that you want to take some time to do um, right after watching this video. When you're looking at your MT4 charts, when you're looking at, you know, whatever. If you're using MT4, great. If you're using that, Daniel, if you're using Trading View, uh, if you're using like um, OANDA, that's all fine. Whatever charting system you're used to, um, you need to look at your charting system, or in, as a matter of fact, you need to be able to look at your charts in your mind's eye and be able to do a certain exercise I'm going to ask you to do right after this. Okay, so the, um, before we actually begin, just to, just to show you uh, and illustrate a point, of what, uh, illustrate the importance of what I'm about to share with you, uh, which is about how to create your training system. I used to be a tennis coach for many years. I did that from the time I was 18 to the time I was like, like 28, right? So about 10, a decade. And um, throughout that time, in the early years, I was trying out professional tennis. And later on, when I went back to <coughs> the West, when I was doing professional tennis, I knew a lot of high-level strokes and styles of play and ways to train, which eventually got faded out over the years. So I received very good top-end training from people in Australia, uh, Spain, and Thailand, but the things that I knew eventually evaporated. And with the surf, right, with the surf, I used to think that I was consistently, uh, consistently tossing up to the front but over time, it became over to the back, and instead of instead of uh, hit, jumping forward to hit the ball, I was jumping backward, and as a result, of that not being able to get the maximum amount of strength in my serve. So it's just like trading. Over time, you will tend to regress unknowingly. However, what brought me back from that regression <clears throat> was when I had to teach that to my students. So when I started to teach and break down the points of a good serve, I realized that I actually have been doing something over time progressively wrong. Today I'm going to be asking you, uh, in order to be able to develop a good training system, you must be able to teach it to someone else. So <clears throat> if you do not plan to teach your system to someone else, that's fine. But the reason why this is important is because if, you do, if you're not able to teach it, you will lose it. So, I wish to, for you to be able to illustrate and explain your trading strategy so that if you should one day forget... Oh God, I, I, dropped, I dropped my cough drop. <clears throat> if you should one day forget how to do your training method or... If you're hitting a block, and this often regression almost always happens. I'll draw my cough drop again. Uh, regression almost always happens when you're having a bad streak. Okay, uh, I recently learned at a behavior finance uh, seminar that every trading method will have times when it's out of sync with the market. And that is when you have bad trading days or even bad trading weeks. Understand that that's going to happen. Okay, every trading method has times where it's out of sync with the market. And it's at those times that you need to go back to the notes that you are going to create today. That's going to help you to reteach yourself your method. Or let's say uh, if, you, if you ever meant to share it with someone else. Or if let's say if someone else were to read these notes would they know exactly how to illustrate your method? 
Well, let's say if someone were to watch a video of you breaking down your method, would someone else understand how to do it? And as a matter of fact, if any one of you uh, does this exercise, create some instruction about a training method that you do, uh, and wish to share it with me and get my criticisms on it, you're more than welcome. So you can either leave a comment below this video, or you can actually go, better yet, to go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash the right night, cough drop dropped again. Go to uh, facebook.com slash the right night page, and uh, you know, let me know, uh, you know, just, just send me a quick rundown. It could be a short video, it could be a document, and then I'll give you, I'll give you my thoughts on, on, on how that works out. <clears throat> now, this is what you need to do, okay? When you are writing out your training method, you need to go through a couple of details. When I write out every of my training methods, I usually start with um, the brief, okay? The brief can be what it's about. This is a trend following system, this is a counter trend system, this is a mini trend change system, this is a scalping system. Um, so this is a, a, a one a once a few word one sentence description. <clears throat> now after the brief, I always have something else which is um, the inspiration behind this training system. Uh, so for me, when I create, as, as like a, for those of you who are members of the binary lab where I teach people how to trade binary options, um, you may have seen me on this <clears throat> method webinars where I'll go like, uh, the reason for this system is that recently around the Brexit, we saw certain market conditions that, was, that I, I saw was threatening the viability of our previous method because of this reason, this reason, this reason. So this method has been created to address all these various issues. Or well, let's say uh, this particular method has been getting fake outs under these conditions such as this, this, and this. And uh, we found ways to fix that and therefore this system is created to be a remedy to that. Or it could be something around the lines of uh, when I was trading during this period of time, at every certain hour to hour to hour of the day, I noticed that something always happens and I thought, what a better idea than to make something that could make full advantage of that. So that's going to be the inspiration behind the system. Now, <clears throat> you go into the methods, okay? So when you go into the, the method, I usually like to, I am an indicator-based trader. There are some people that are price action-based traders. I'm an indicator-based trader. I'm not shy of that. Why? Because I like visual confirmations. So... Um, I would do a section that says something like the setup, okay? So I would briefly say the setup is when <clears throat> uh, this indicator does, uh, does this, this indicator does that. But before I actually do that, I also like to describe what these indicators mean to me. So when I talk about the setup, I might just put a subheading there that says um, like RSI. Okay, um, stochastics, uh, parabolic, <laughs> SAR. For instance, I'm, I'm just giving you some examples. And when you write down these indicators, it is for you to describe what these indicators mean for you in your trading method rather than what it's supposed to be. Because for certain indicators, like the, the, the uh, ASI, the RSI, I have different ways of using it than other people, okay? Uh, for example, the RSI. I use it as a, a guide to overbought and oversold. But some people also use it. Uh, oh, actually, in a different method. Yeah, in a different method. Let's say if I'm doing reversals, I look at RSI as an overbought, oversold. Over 85, beneath 15, overbought, oversold. Now, uh, on the other hand, I could also use RSI as a trending indicator. So let's say when it goes from beneath 50 to above 50, or it goes from above 50 to beneath 50. So these indicators, there's no right and wrong way to use them. Sometimes it can be a, even an observation that you have. For example, when I recently over when I overlaid 
the RSI over over the the uh, accumulation distribution indicator. I noticed that uh, the the although the ASI has its own levels, but the RSI uh, levels on the the chart the 15 and 85 have very interesting behaviors with with that. So I describe the behaviors that I look out for, and uh, I encourage you to do the same thing as well. So, what's indicating me to you? Any special observations that you have? Write them down. Now, after you do that, how about the setup? So, the setup, um, understand that in the setup and the signal can be very, very different things. You need to be able to illustrate what is the setup, okay? When this, this, this is in place, I will then need a signal of what, then I take the trade. You need to be very careful of uh, separating setup from signal. I just learned over the weekend at the seminar that I told you about that setup and signal is actually very different things. And a lot of people confuse the two together. A lot of people start seeing a setup and they take the trade. And if that's what you're doing, very often you find that you're getting inconsistent results. So if you are doing a method right now, and one day is working 90%, another day is working 60%, another day is working 90% again, another day is working 70%, and another day is working all of a sudden, you're getting all these 90, 90, 90, 60, 70, 80, that's all, all very good. But the day that you're getting uh, 40%, next day 40% again, something is definitely wrong. And it could well be that you're confusing a setup for a signal. So I want you to be able to illustrate what is a setup. It could be candle six cross in MA uh, for, for X number of bars. And I see that this indicator shows this, this indicator shows this, this indicator shows this. And I'm going to wait for a certain candlestick formation to form. And that is my signal to take the trade. Or I could say that I have to wait for uh, either the wick or the candle body to hit a certain zone, a regression zone, uh, a Fibonacci extension. And that's my signal to take the trade. So this is how you kind of lay out the trade. And then uh, will there be exceptions, okay? Special exceptions. For example, in my trading uh, system in the binary lab, uh, my latest one, um, I use some buy sell indicators and for example if I see a sell indicator being issued on uh, when I see a sell indicator a lot of newbie traders they love this buy sell indicator stuff and they'll immediately take a put on the next bar for me a sell indicator is merely a setup but the signal is when I see an engulfing bar. So it comes, I may get the signal or to sell on a green candlestick. I see a red candlestick, either a piercing line setup, or I see there is an engulfing bar, or I see an evening star, or I see a doji, and I take the trade. That is my signal to take the trade. Until I have that signal, it is just a setup. Okay? So uh, there are some points that you can create. Want to quickly recap, recap that again? Uh, start out with what your system is called, of course. Okay? Uh, the one line summary of what your system is about is a trend, it's a five bar breakout strategy, it's a five bar reversal strategy, it is a, it is a 30 minute trade strategy, it's a half day long term trade strategy, whatever it is. Okay? Secondly, inspiration. I created this system because of experiencing this condition, this condition, this condition, this condition, this condition, and therefore I believe that with this system in place, you'll be able to take advantage of this, this, and this. Or rather, I recently observed that there are certain behaviors that happen when you put this, 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 and this indicator together, and I get a very, very good result. So that is, that is going to be, uh, that is going to be the, that's, that's going to be the inspiration. Now, we're going to go into the setup. I personally like to say, once again, setup, this, describe the indicators that you use, and what they mean for your system. 
it, it doesn't even mean what it means to you. It means to what do these indicators that you have in your system mean for this system that you're creating right now, which can be unique from the same indicators can be used from uh, one system to the next with different purposes. Okay, like I explained, it can be overbought over soap on one system. On a different system, it can be a momentum. Uh, an oscillator can be used for a momentum system. And finally, um, the setup conditions and the signal. Okay, understand the differences between setup and signal. And with that, if you are able to share this with someone else and have them understand exactly what you need to do in exact circumstances, then you have a complete system. Okay, and, and then when you do that, like I said, there will be times where the market is in sync with your system, and there will be the times when your market is out of sync with the system. And when you're on a downtime, when you're on a time that you find that you're hitting the wall, maybe your consistency took a hit, maybe your performance took a hit, and you want to find out what exactly is going wrong. And then you can actually uh, go refresh yourself with your notes and uh, relearn, reteach yourself the same way of operation, and you'll be back on track. My screen just dimmed out for a moment. Uh, and that's basically all I wanted to share. So I want to give you an invitation. Let's say if you'd like to see more examples about systems, and uh, in fact, if you want to be able to use uh, some of the systems that I've created to profitably trade binary options with accuracy of above 70%, some days as high as 100%. Uh, you're most welcome to join my training community and uh, I'm, I'm happy to give you any advice and suggestions on helping you improve your training systems. And who knows, like I said, we have students in the past that have actually come in and launched their own uh, their own systems to our people and actually have, uh, you know, be able to build very good communities too uh, in their own right uh, within the Binary Lab uh, community. So. Uh, this is a great platform for you if you feel that you want to progress as a trader. Um, or let's say for some of, for some of you, uh, if you want to take elements from from uh, that that which I show on my daily webinars and you want to learn from, from that to help you formulate your own system, that's fine. You're welcome. If you want to come in to trade with us, you're welcome as well. And if you, ha if you are looking to develop winning trading systems, you're welcome as well because there you can get good feedback. And we do have a wide diversity of people inside the binary lab. We have people who are programmers, we have people who are uh, expert backtesters, we have people uh, with varying experiences, uh, some people even richer experiences in certain fields than myself. Because for me, I have been training generally binary options, I'm very familiar with, with charting MT4, but my experience is actually largely pertaining more to binary than to forex. So, and then someone else could be into a, a spot, or, or someone could be expert in, in indices. All right. So there's a wide variety of people inside the binary lab, and uh, the, and basically, if you're interested to to, to check out uh, my group on the binary lab, where we trade in binary options trading, there's a link down beneath this video. It's uh, www.thebinarylab.net. Do check it out, and I hope to see you inside. Uh, it's actually free to join the binary lab, so uh, it is really open offer to all people. All right. Uh, bye everyone, and also, like I said, you know, a couple of things in today's video. <laughs> That I picked up just over the weekend from <clears throat> from a, an interesting seminar that I attended. So um, in the next video, I'm going to be going over the notes from that seminar, uh, the the important points that made sense to me. I'll be sharing that with you. All right. Uh, goodbye, everyone, and uh, thanks for watching. If you find this video is, is good, please hit like, please hit subscribe, so you get all my later videos as well. This is Julian Wong from the Binary Lab. See you in the Binary Lab. Goodbye.